Number 16. Emperor Tamarins The story goes that this particular species of tamarin was so named due to an alleged resemblance to German Emperor Wilhelm II. We're not 100% sure about that. Regardless, these small New World monkeys definitely have a singular appearance with that extreme handlebar moustache. They occur in the Amazon lowlands of South America, as well as lower mountain rainforests. Weighing only about 18 ounces, these are very social creatures that have a playful, gregarious nature in the wild. In captivity, they remain social and are very tolerant of humans and seem to crave a lot of attention. Number 15. Mantled Howlers At some 22 pounds, 10 kilograms, these critters from Central and South America rank as one of the largest monkeys within their range. Given their size, it's interesting to note that they are the only Central American monkeys known to consume mass quantities of leaves. But that diet comes at a cost. Leaves aren't easy to digest, and they don't supply as much energy as other foods, so they spend most of their day sleeping. Like their name suggests, these primates do make amplified calls or howls. The behavior serves as a means of locationing one another while remaining stationary and avoiding confrontation. Most specimens tend to have mostly black coats that are fringed with golden fur flanking their body, hence the mantling. Number 14. Red-shanked Duke Langor Prior to 1967, these animals had never been studied. Native to Vietnam, Thailand and other countries of Indochina, they occupy habitats ranging from rainforest to mountainous terrain rising some 6,600 feet high. They're one of three species known for their unique coloration. Their white mouth, orange face and black deep-set eyes give them an appearance that is sometimes described as otherworldly. Even if you don't agree with that assessment, many experts regard them as the most colourful species of primate thanks to those distinctive looks. Number 13. Gelada Baboons These old world monkeys are found in the highlands of Ethiopia, often at altitudes exceeding 14,000 feet or over 4,000 metres and that's the only place where they occur in the wild. They're often called baboons, although experts say they actually regard them as members of their own genus. When these beasts get angry, they're pretty much in a class of their own. Their pale eyelids will roll up and the upper lip is pushed up against its nostrils to expose a scary set of fangs. Experts say that those long, sharp canine teeth are often used by males in disputes during mating season. Due to a bright red patch displayed on its chest fur, gelatas are also nicknamed bleeding heart monkeys. Number 12. Mandrills These animals resemble baboons and were once classified as such. Now they occupy a separate genus, along with one other species. Weighing more than 80 pounds, mandrills are the world's heaviest living monkeys. They're also one of the world's most colourful animals, with their faces displaying vivid reds and blues. When they get excited, those colours on their face and fur will flush even brighter. They dwell deep in the rainforests of several African nations, including Cameroon, Congo and Equatorial Guinea. Within that habitat, they're mostly terrestrial, but will climb the trees at night to sleep. Troops contain more than a dozen females and juveniles and are usually led by an alpha male. On occasion, troops will gather together for large social gatherings that can number 200 or more individuals. Number 11. Tibetan Macaque As the common name suggests, these large primates are found in Tibet, but they've also been observed in northwest China and areas of northern India. Weighing about 43 pounds, 20 kilograms, and 28 inches long, 71 centimeters, they're among the largest monkeys in Asia. Their habitat can range from subtropical forests to higher altitudes of 8,200 feet or 2,500 meters above sea level. Their dense fur is well suited to help them survive those elevations and ranges in color from dark brown to a sandy yellow color. The specimens with lighter coloured fur were sometimes compared to a miniature yeti. Number 10. Bald Wakari These monkeys from the Amazon River Basin are bald by virtue of genetics. But they actually do have some long hair, although none of it sprouts on their head. The vivid red coloration makes for a startling sight, 
it results from a lack of pigmentation along with blood vessels that are located close to their skin. The scarlet noggin of this creature has invited comparisons to the red skull from the Captain America comics and movies. If you can see a resemblance, let us know in the comments below. Number 9. Debraza's Monkey Weighing about 15 pounds, 7 kilograms, males of this species are about twice as large as females. The Old World monkeys are one of the most widespread tree-dwelling primates in Africa. Named for a European explorer, their size and coloration wouldn't seem suitable for camouflage. Yet, these animals are very adept at staying hidden from humans and predators. In fact, they're so reclusive that no one has been able to get an accurate estimate of the animal's population within their range. Since they spend so much time near the water, they're often called swamp monkeys, and troops of them are sometimes observed swimming. Number 8. Golden Langur One of India's most endangered primate species can be found within a 60 mile in the country's northeastern region. Its golden coat creates a memorable contrast to its ebony face, but the fur changes colour with the seasons. While the Western world first learned of their existence in the 1950s, these animals have long been considered sacred by many locals in the Himalayas. Number 7. Celebes Crested Macaques These old world critters are found in Sulawesi, also known as Celebes. They also occur on smaller islands nearby, and all of them are listed as critically endangered. At around 23 pounds, 10 kilograms, it's one of the smaller macaque species, and spends most of the day foraging on the ground. To be honest, we chose this species more for the strange appearance of one individual specimen, he made international headlines in 2011 when pictures of a monkey selfie were published. A nature photographer set up a camera with a remote shutter trigger, which was later activated by the curious primate. The unusual selfie inspired countless memes and turned the crested macaque into an internet celebrity. It also triggered a contentious lawsuit over who owned the photo's copyright, the photographer or the monkey. People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, Peter, instigated the legal action, but the photographer later won the case. Do you agree with that decision? Number 6. White-Faced Saki One of the more distinctive faces on our list belongs to these primates found in South America. They stay on the ground while foraging, but at night, they'll sleep in trees that rise some 66 feet high, 20 meters, where leaves hide them from predators. They have a varied diet consisting of fruits, insects, and small birds. They're known to feed on bats and can crack open nuts and shells with their large canine teeth. Some people have compared the Saki's facial coloration to that of the spectacled bear, which is also found in regions of South America. Let us know if you think there might be a connection. Number 5. Golden Snub-Nosed Monkeys these animals thrive at elevations of around 11,500 feet or 3,500 meters above sea level. At those extremes, they have adapted to survive frigid temperatures better than any other non-human primate known to date. They're endemic to forested regions of southwest China and are not often glimpsed outside of their range. On rare occasions, the Chinese government has allowed the animals to be displayed in zoos outside the country. Their golden fur and blue-skinned faces make them some of the most exotic-looking animals on the planet. There's a theory that these monkeys lost their noses as a way of avoiding frostbite, given their cold habitat. Number 4. Lazula Monkey These primates weren't discovered in rainforests of the Democratic Republic of Congo until 2007. Five years later, they were officially confirmed as only the second new species of African monkey found since 1984. Their most distinctive feature by far are their eyes, which some people say have a quality that is unsettlingly human-like. Its other distinctive trait is a large bear patch on their backside, which has a vivid blue coloration. Locals say the animal has long been known to hunters and are closely related to a species known as owl-faced monkeys. Number 3. Hamadryas Baboons These primates are also called sacred baboons because they were once revered by the ancient Egyptians as a god of learning. These days, they're no longer found in Egypt, but the hardy animals do occur in Ethiopia and Saudi Arabia, among other regions. They're the northernmost dwelling baboon species, which provides a notable advantage. They encounter fewer natural predators than in Central or Southern Africa where many of their cousins reside. 
Weighing around 66 pounds, 30 kilograms, they're strongly built and large bodied, but they can still fall prey to animals including leopards and hyenas. Even though they occasionally find shelter in trees, they prefer to dwell in areas near high cliffs that are close to a water source. Groups of several hundred individuals are known to gather at a time, possibly to celebrate their conservation status. These animals maintain stable populations and their numbers continue to grow. Number 2. Pygmy Marmoset Monkeys There are 22 species of marmoset monkeys and this is the smallest one. And with adults rarely weighing more than 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, pygmy marmosets are recognised as the smallest true monkeys in the entire world. Including the tail, they measure about 9 inches long and are found in the Amazon Basin rainforest of South America. Given their small dimensions, they can still leap about 16 feet, 5 metres from one tree branch to another. Other arboreal adaptations include sharp claws for clinging to trees and an ability to rotate their heads 180 degrees. Did you know that this little primate is sometimes called the pocket monkey? That's a reference to them being so small they can fit in one's breast pocket. They're highly sought after in the pet trade and that's one of the biggest threats to this species. As we head to our final segment, don't forget to monkey around with the like and subscribe buttons. Click on both if you like this episode. Number 1. Proboscis Monkeys These old world monkeys are endemic to the island of Borneo in Southeast Asia. Since proboscis is another term for nose, you might say their distinguishing physical trait is as plain as the nose on their face. The hooters of males can extend an impressive 4 inches, 10 centimeters, and may play a role in mating rituals. Researchers say the nose amplifies the sound of mating calls and might attract more females. Number 14. Wind Cave National Park The indigenous Lakota people call this cave the hole that breathes cool air. Established in 1903 by President Theodore Roosevelt, this location in South Dakota was among the first national parks in the United States. And it holds the honour of being the world's first cave ever declared as a national park. At nearly 150 miles, 240 kilometres, it's recognised as one of the longest caves on the planet. Underground expeditions have revealed intricate patterns of mineral formations called boxwork or frostwork that are found nowhere else. Above ground, the park hosts a diverse ecosystem that includes bison, bobcats and prairie dogs. While it's free to explore the parklands, a fee is charged for cave tours. Some of those tours are said to be strenuous and involve crawling, so know before you go. Number 13. Hingol National Park Located in Pakistan, this park contains many unusual features including a mud volcano. Established in 1988, the park sprawls about 2,400 square miles or 6,100 square kilometres and contains habitats ranging from arid subtropical forests to mountainous areas. It's home to many animal species including pangolins, geckos, pelicans and frogs. But the park is probably best known for an imposing, non-living attraction. The Sphinx of Baluchistan is a natural rock formation so named for its resemblance to the Great Sphinx of Giza in Egypt. Its appearance was sculpted by rains and coastal winds over millions of years. Number 12. Arches National Park More than 2,000 naturally occurring sandstone arches can be found at this national park in eastern Utah so the name isn't a coincidence. Since the 1970s, more than 40 arches have fallen due to the effects of erosion. But don't worry, there is still plenty of amazing arches to be seen. Some of the better known sites include Balanced Rock. That's a stone structure about the size of three school buses. The Double Arch, which are two arches that share the same end, is another landmark. And this Delicate Arch, which is not only the most recognizable arch in the park, it is well known around the world. In 2018, more than 1.5 million people visited this park. Number 11. Glacier National Park The name of this huge location is a direct reference to the remains of glaciers that formed in northwestern Montana during the last ice age. The park is located on the border of Canada and the US, comprising more than 1 million acres, that's 4,000 square kilometers 
which includes portions of two mountain ranges. The unspoiled ecosystem includes sprawling forests, more than 700 lakes, hundreds of waterfalls, 1,000 different plant species and hundreds of animals. In addition to moose, birds and grizzly bears, you'll find mountain goats, Canadian lynxes and wolverines. In 2018, nearly 3 million visitors were attracted by this pristine wilderness which features numerous historic landmarks and the Highline Trail which follows the Continental Divide. Here's an FYI though, if you want to see the glaciers, visit the park ASAP. In the 19th century, about 150 glaciers were estimated to exist in the area. By 2010, only about 25 remained. And if current climate patterns stay the same, experts say that none of the active glaciers will remain by 2030. Number 10. Dry Tortugas National Park About 70 miles or 108 kilometers from Key West, Florida, you'll find seven dry Tortugas Islands in the Gulf of Mexico. They're the most isolated of the Florida Keys, and the blend of remote tropical ecosystems with historical landmarks makes this national park particularly unique. Its centerpiece is Fort Jefferson, a huge coastal fortress from the 19th century that was never finished. Built with more than 16 million bricks, it's the largest brick masonry structure found in the Western Hemisphere. You can only get to this location by boat or seaplane, but it's worth the effort. It attracts more than 60,000 visitors each year who arrive to enjoy activities including snorkeling, scuba diving, bird watching and camping. The name dates to the 16th century when Spanish explorers caught so many sea turtles they named the islands after the reptiles. Tortuga is Spanish for turtle and since the islands contained no surface fresh water, the animals were said to be dry. Number 9. Mammoth Cave National Park According to legend, Europeans first discovered this site in the late 18th century, when hunters chased a bear into the cave entrance. While that is uncertain, this much is clear. This national park in Kentucky contains the world's longest known cave systems, with over 400 miles, 640 kilometers of chambers and passageways mapped so far. That's nearly twice the length of the world's second largest cave system in Mexico. It was named a national park in 1941 as part of an effort to preserve the caves, within which new discoveries are made every year. For visitors who don't mind some subterranean activities, the park offers guided tours that can range from one to six hours long. During that time, you might encounter some of the several bat species that inhabit the area. About 500,000 visitors enjoy these tours each year. Overall, Mammoth Cave National Park attracts more than 2 million visitors annually. FYI, the cave system's name is a reference to its immense size. No fossils of the extinct woolly mammoth have ever been located there. Number 8. Kruger National Park Located in South Africa, this established covers nearly 5 million acres, that's over 20,000 square kilometers and it contains the most species of large mammals than any other game reserve found in Africa. The big five game animals all reside here. Those are elephants, rhinos, buffalo, leopards and lions, all of which call the park home. That's not to mention hippos, giraffes, Nile crocodiles and more than 500 species of birds. That provides visitors the chance to get about as close to all of the epic wildlife as possible. Number 7. Great Sand Dunes National Park Located in Colorado's Sangre de Cristo mountain range, this might not seem like the place to find the tallest sand dunes in North America. The formations are scattered over 233 square miles, 603 square kilometers, and some of them can top 750 feet, 229 meters. Human activity in the region has been dated to 11,000 years ago, and has included Native American tribes, European explorers, homesteaders, and buffalo soldiers. Today, more than 440,000 visitors arrive annually to experience dazzling views of alpine tundra, lakes, and mountain peaks that rise more than 13,000 feet high, or nearly 4,000 meters. Along with the impressive views, the park is home to various animal species like bison, black bears, and sandhill cranes. Among the most popular activities is hiking throughout the dunes. But choose your seasons wisely. In summer, temperatures can hit 150 degrees Fahrenheit, 
or 66 Celsius. Number 6. Komodo National Park Should your bucket list include seeing the world's largest lizards in person, here's an idea. Visit the Komodo National Park in Indonesia. The park was founded in 1980 to protect the Komodo dragon. Other terrestrial animals found in the park include water buffalo, macaque monkeys, and various vipers and pythons. The area is abundant in marine life, and surrounding waters contain whale sharks, ocean sunfish, manta rays, and even blue whales. Number 5. Cinque Terre National Park Located in Italy's smallest national park are cliffside towns with vibrantly coloured villages that look as if they could have come from a fairy tale. The five medieval towns are located on the Italian Riviera and offer visitors plenty of natural scenery, sandy beaches and coastal hiking trails. Forested areas are filled with wild boar and foxes. Did you know Cinque Terre was established in 1999 and was intended to emphasise the relationships between humans and the environment? Number 4. Zanji National Geopark the amazing, multi-hued Danxia Mountains are found in this national park of China. The area contains nearly 700 walls, pillars, peaks and stone bridges. Even temples are featured on some of the mountains. The awesome colours range from dark reds to pale blues to vibrant greens. Experts say that as the reddish sandstone was eroded, the mountains were formed over millions of years, creating the unusual landscape. The geopark has become a popular tourist attraction, and in 2010, the landforms were added to the World Heritage List. Number 3. Plitvis Lakes National Park A lot of people think the Garden of Eden exists today, and it can be found in Croatia. Plitvis Lakes National Park is filled with amazing, paradisical sites. The park is one of the best-known attractions in Croatia, where it's often referred to as the local version of the legendary garden. Some of the world's most awesome waterfalls, along with 16 individual lakes, are contained within the park. The complex system of lakes and rivers are the result of limestone deposits that created natural dams, and that helped to form the caves and waterfalls that are located there. Did you know Plitvis Lakes is Southeast Europe's oldest national park? Number 2. Cheren National Park It would be really easy to mistake this location for the Grand Canyon in the US. While Cheren Canyon is grand, it's actually located some 7,000 miles or over 11,000 kilometers east of Arizona's natural wonder. It's found in the Cheren National Park of Kazakhstan and has earned the nickname of the Grand Canyon's little brother. While its fiery red sandstone formations and raging river stretch for some 56 miles, 90 kilometers, that still comes up short against the Elder Canyon which stretches for some 277 miles, 446 kilometers. Another difference is that unlike the Grand Canyon, its little brother is not heavily commercialized, meaning visitors often have to bring their own food and water. Which one of these epic parks would you most like to visit? Tell us in the comments and be sure to like and subscribe. Number 1. Uluru Kata Chorta National Park The spectacular formation sometimes called Ayers Rock probably needs no introduction. It's one of the world's most recognisable landmarks and is a major icon of Australia and occupies this protected area in the Northern Territory. The park's name not only refers to Uluru, but Kata Chorta. That's a collection of 36 large, domed rock formations located about 25 miles, 40 kilometres away. Covering around 512 square miles, 1,326 square kilometres, the park was established in 1958 and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Both of these unique formations are thought to have formed some 350 million years ago, and humans may have occupied the area for some 10,000 years. Although it doesn't appear so, the barren landscape contains one of the world's most vital terrestrial ecosystems. The region's extreme conditions have produced many rare plant species that are rare and endemic to the region. Animals in the region include lizards, raptors, wallabies, and feral camels. You might not have connected these animals with Oz, but they were imported during the 19th century for use in transportation and construction. By some estimates, there are more than one million of them roaming about. Number 9. Giant Grasshoppers 
People have been terrified of giant insects since the beginning of time. But what about a grasshopper the size of a human? There is no way. But in pictures from the 1930s, the following headline appeared on the front page of the Toma Monitor Herald from Wisconsin. Apparently, there was an extreme invasion of biblical proportions of giant grasshoppers. The story goes like this. Farmer A.L. Butts had put some very special plant food around his orchard trees. Suddenly, grasshoppers were found around three feet in length, breaking his tree limbs and destroying his orchard. There are also pictures of hunters going out to capture the large beasts. This article from 1937 goes on to insinuate that the story was all a put on, to trick and entertain their readers. But this was all on page four, and most people didn't make it to the end. The pictures have been proven to be photoshopped even in 1937, and you thought clickbait was new. However, while grasshoppers might not get to three feet long, the giant Weta is considered to be the world's biggest grasshopper. Just ask Guinness World Records. Found only in New Zealand, there are around 70 species of Weta that look kind of like a cross between a cricket and a cockroach. Park ranger Mark Moffat on Little Barrier Island, New Zealand, found a gargantuan giant Weta with the wingspan of about seven inches. Unlike most people, Moffat was pretty excited and gave her a carrot, like a little bunny rabbit. The Weta is an endangered species, so it was actually a discovery to be celebrated, instead of haunted by, as these guys aren't the cuddliest looking things. Number 8. Zeus the Dog Although Zeus died in 2014, he's recognised as the biggest dog in recent history. A replacement for him has not yet been found. Zeus was born in 2008, a Great Dane from Otsego, Michigan, and was known by all as being the Guinness Book of World Records' world's tallest dog for two whole years. In fact, now deceased, he still holds the record in the history books. He was 7 foot 5 inches with his legs stretched out and 3 foot 8 inches from his foot to his back. He was good natured and much loved, so it was hard to hear of his passing in 2014. He was a big dog with a big heart who died of old age. To get an idea as to how big he was, take a look at a donkey. He was about that size. He loved to sit on his owner's lap and visit children's hospitals where allowed as a therapy dog and to entertain children. He was the hero the world needed at the time. Now if only we could find another like him, as in my opinion, his work is not done yet. Number 7. Darius the Rabbit you may have heard of the world's longest rabbit, but seeing him is a different story. He stands at 4 foot 4 inches long and is big enough that many confuse him for a dog. If you think rabbits are cute, you're right, there is no size of rabbit that is not cute. The average rabbit weighs about 5 pounds, but Darius weighs 10 times that much at nearly 50 pounds. The only rabbit that comes close to his size is his child, Jeff, who measured 3 foot 8 inches as a young kitten. Both father and son love playing with their friend the boxer dog, who is not much bigger than them. The two are continental giant rabbits and were nearly bigger than their 8 year old owner Ava in 2016. It is believed that by the time that Jeff is Darius's age, he will outweigh him for sure. This would make Jeff hands down the world's biggest rabbit. The rabbits are so large that they eat 2000 carrots and 700 apples every year to keep up with their metabolism and weight. Not to mention, this food is aside from their regular boxer dog bowl full of rabbit food every day. If you want to put these guys into perspective, they're pretty much the size of a German Shepherd, only they eat more. And now for number 6, but first, if you're new to Epic Wildlife, welcome, and be sure to subscribe. Number 6, Medusa the Snake. For those who are squeamish around snakes, back away now. To others, say hello to the world's largest snake held in captivity. Her name is Medusa, and she is a reticulated python. She is owned by Full Moon Productions Incorporated in Kansas City, Missouri. In 2011, when found, she was 25 foot 2 inches long, granting her the title of the world's largest snake by Guinness Book of World Records. On average, the python doesn't get more than 15 foot long, but Medusa surpassed the average by a long shot. When she was 10 years old, it took 15 men to hold her for a picture, considering her length and weight of 350 pounds. 
every other week she eats rabbits, hogs and deer whole. The largest python ever caught was 32 feet 10 inches, but it didn't survive in captivity, making Medusa the largest to survive in a domesticated state. It seems she is strong, sturdy, and that the Full Moon Productions crew in KC know what they're doing. Where is she today? Starring in The Edge of Hell Haunted House in Kansas City. She's a great performer and knows when it's showtime. She isn't forced to perform, but loved the show. She sits perfectly still in an elongated state for everybody to look at. Perhaps she snaps at the viewers just for show as well. Number 5. Lolong the Croc If snakes aren't your cup of tea, then maybe crocodiles will be. Lolong was the largest crocodile in captivity on record. He was a saltwater crocodile that reached a whopping 20 feet 3 inches and 2,370 pounds. Sadly, he didn't live long as he died in 2013 from both pneumonia and cardiac arrest. But before that, he was caught in a creek in the province of Aung San del Sur in the Philippines in 2011. If not for the government unit that caught him, it might have been hard to transport the guy. But with the help of the unit and the crocodile hunters of Palawan, they secured him and took him to be measured. But it took over a hundred people to bring him onto land. At the time, he was old and feisty, but at 50 years old, who would want to be disturbed after such a long run in the free world? But it had to be done. He was under accusations of eating a missing fisherman as well as a 12-year-old girl, not to mention countless water buffaloes. The Animal Kingdom Foundation Incorporated tried to get the government to let him go after no human remains were found in his stomach. But the danger was too great, plus he was being used as a tourist attraction. This made the Animal Kingdom Foundation furious as they believed he was not treated well at all. It is believed that this was the reason for his declining health and eventual death. Number 4. Big Bill the Pig Big Bill is the biggest pig in history who weighed 2,552 pounds. He was a member of the Poland China breed, owned by Ilias Buford Butler of Jackson, Tennessee. His stomach was so big that it touched the ground. Sadly, he broke his leg due to excessive weight and had to be put down. But he went down a legend, feeding the entire state of Tennessee for a month. Okay, that was a bad joke. Also, I didn't tell you that he lived in 1933. But since no pig has come even close to his record, he still holds it. He was 5 feet tall and 9 feet long. I mean, come on! But to be fair, the biggest living pig is unknown, because every county fair in the world knows that there's hardly a use in weighing their pigs if they can't come close to Big Bill's record. I mean, who is big enough to break their own leg? That takes dedication. Across the world, Big Bill is more famous than Zuckerman's famous pig. You know, Wilbur from Charlotte's Web? Now that's a nice pig. In fact, there's a good chance a lot of the book was inspired by this pig the book that came out 30 years after Big Bill's run at the county fair. Number 3. Blossom the Cow Blossom is, to this day, recognised by Guinness World Records as the tallest cow that ever lived. She was a giant Holstein who stood just over 6 feet 2 inches tall. Unfortunately, like many animals, she died much earlier than she should have, in 2015. The cause of death? Leg problems from her weight. At least she did make it to age 13, which is quite the feat for a cow her size. The owner, Patty Meads Hansen, has a few words to say in her honour. The funny thing about Blossom was how unaffected she was by all the attention that seemed to surround her. As long as she had her oats, daily chin rubs and her ear scratches, life was good. What a nice cow. The owner's father raised the cow from 8 weeks old, but never thought she could grow up to sit in the Guinness World Book of Records. Blossom won over the previous record holder from over a hundred years ago, but under an inch. That was a close race, but the Holstein just wouldn't die until she broke the record, which she did officially weeks before her passing. She will forever be the world's favourite, sweetest large cow. And what a name to go with the title. Number 2. Goliath Bird Eater This huge spider is about the size of a dinner plate. You can see where it gets its name as the Goliath Bird Eater Spider. They are common in northern South America and are famous for being the largest spider in the world. It is named a bird eater due to the fact it's big enough to eat a bird. In fact, the explorer who found it saw it chowing down on a hummingbird. 
but they actually prefer to eat earthworms and toads and lizards. Though, if, in a dire situation, they will eat birds. As hard as it is, they will, along with squirrels, mice, and rats. They pretty much eat anything you don't want in your house that is smaller than a chihuahua. Though, it's possible, the bird eater could be a lapdog eater too. Who knows? A spider's gotta eat. But don't worry, you won't see them unless you live near a swamp or murky waters. But if you do, you can just go spider hunting, because many claim that cooking the urticating hairs off and roasting it in banana leaves is delicious. The oddest thing about them is that the females live for about 20 years, whereas the males don't live more than 5. Like a boss. Number 1. Bandit the Raccoon Hate raccoons digging through your trash? Well, what about the world's biggest raccoon? Don't worry, he's only in the history books and the Guinness Book now. Sadly, he died in 2004 at 10 years old. But raccoons are sometimes cute, you have to admit, and they do know how to wash their hands. But during his time, Bandit wasn't known as the world's biggest raccoon, but rather the world's fattest raccoon. Isn't that the way it goes? He had a good excuse though. He was born with a bad thyroid gland. He wasn't adopted by humans per se, but a dog who took him in and raised him up as another pup. He had a mother and many siblings growing up. But after a while, he was taken in by a human who spoiled him rotten. He gave him chips, fruit lubes, cheese curls and french fries and everything else he wanted. Surely this helped his thyroid problem. By 2001, he weighed 64.4 pounds and by the end of his life, he weighed 70 pounds. He was labelled the junk food crazed critter and the largest raccoon in the world by the Guinness Book of World Records in 1999. At the time, he was a fan favourite, featured on the then cable television station The Food Network. But all good things come to an end, and in 2004 he was put down when early signs of thyroid cancer caught up to him. Did these animals steal your heart in any way? Then keep watching for more.